have a copy in front of you, do you not? Yes. Okay. You make it crystal clear in that statement, do you not? First time she got raped, the senator was watching. Isn't that correct? Is that crystal clear on page seven of that statement? Uh, I see that here, yes. Uh, she maybe did not ask me a proper question when she was questioning me. Maybe she should have asked me, uh, what did she do when you had asked her who was watching, watching her, Senator Kennedy? She should have maybe asked me that question. Ms. Mercer, did you make it crystal clear on page seven of this statement this time she got raped that even the senator was watching? Did you make that crystal clear? I made that statement, yes, but then again, let me complete my answer. I'm just asking whether you said that now. You've had a chance to explain it several times. Did you say that on page seven of this statement? I said that, yes. Did you then tell Detective Rigolo I asked him, I asked her, well, didn't he do anything? Did you say that on the statement? I said that, yes. And did the he in that sen sentence refer to Senator Kennedy? Yes, it did. Does that mean that you asked didn't this, what the senator didn't do anything while he was watching the rape? Is that right? Is that what you mean right there? Uh, I meant that if he was watching, why didn't he do anything? Yes. And then you say, then she stopped talking about it. Is that right? Yes. Thank you. In your deposition, did you not testify <coughs> she got raped for the first time on the beach? Page in line. Page 150, line 17 through 19. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. In your deposition that was given, I believe, on uh, October 2nd. October 10th. This is less. Uh, this is less than two months ago. Remember giving a deposition. I remember giving a deposition. I don't remember the exact date. Yes. yes. And you said you've had a chance to study that. I've read that over. Yes. Okay. You remember testifying at the deposition that she was raped for the first time on the beach. Uh, yes, I do recall saying that. Also, again, I would like to say, let me complete my answer there. No, the, this answer is only whether or not you said that in your deposition. You've already had a chance to explain your answers of yesterday. In your deposition, that's what you said. Isn't that correct? I said that, but I also would like to complete my answer on that why I said that. Well, I assume you said it because it was true. I said that because I got the assumption that she was raped twice when I had questioned her. She never said that she was or wasn't. I made the assumption by my questioning to her. Let me read it to you then. Page 150, beginning on line 12. Question. Now she told you that she had been raped twice. Is that right? Answer, yes. You don't say anything about an assumption there, do you? I did not make myself clear there, no. You had a lawyer representing you at the deposition, didn't you? Yes, I did. The word yes is extremely clear, is it not? Yes. The deposition, before you took this deposition, you gave an oath, did you not? Yes. The same oath you took in this courtroom yesterday? Yes. An oath to tell the truth? Of course.
I believe you testified yesterday that when you let me backtrack for a minute when you first coming to the or coming to the Kennedy home where was she? She was on the uh, top of the steps. This is the steps leading into the kitchen. Yes. In order to get from the parking lot to that area, you would have to go through a a door in a wall that surrounds the estate. Isn't that correct? Uh, there is, as I remember that evening, an archway wall. I don't know whether it's all around the estate, but it was in front of the stairs. Okay, so you'd have to go from the parking lot through this archway, isn't that correct? Yes. You then have to turn left, would you not? I don't remember turning left. I remember going up a stair well. You don't recall that after, when you go through the archway that you have to take a left and walk some about 15 feet in order to get to the bottom of the stairway? I don't recall it being 15 feet. Maybe uh, it was less than five feet. I don't recall walking 15 feet to go up a staircase. All right. Then you have to walk up a, a flight of stairs, but there's about six or seven steps there. Is that right? I thought there were more steps than that that night. And uh, at the top of the stairs is the door to the kitchen of the Kennedy home. Isn't that correct? Yes, the side door. And that's the door that you entered uh, and exited through, didn't you? Yes. And you say that thing outside the kitchen door when you arrived? Yes, she was. She was not in the parking lot? No. She was not in her car? No. She wasn't locked in her car? No. Was her car, but did you determine that her car was uh, in working condition that night? Yes, I did. By the way, you have uh, a sister who lives three blocks <clears throat> away from that house, don't you? Yes. Uh, uh, a relative or an in-law or uh, someone she knows that lives right in the same vicinity, does she not? Or her aunt? Uh, I'm not sure on that who it is she may have a relative up there yes and there are other houses right across the street is there not yes i mean all you'd have to do is walk out of that parking lot onto the street and you could go to any one of a number of homes in that neighborhood couldn't you very easily yes now when you saw her you said she did not have her shoes on is that correct yes she did not have her pantyhose on, is that correct? She did not have her pantyhose on. You later went over to her car, did you not? Yes. And you found her shoes in the car, is that right? Yes. And her pantyhose were in her car as well? Yes. Where were they in the car? They were in they were on the passenger seat. Both the shoes and the pantyhose were lying on the passenger seat of the car? Yes. You say that uh, we'll be continuing our live coverage of the trial of William Kennedy Smith from West Palm Beach, Florida, after these commercial West messages, Beach, Florida, and our continuing live coverage of the trial of William Kennedy Smith inside the Palm Beach County Courthouse right now in the courtroom. 
Ann Mercer, the friend of the alleged victim, is on the stand being cross-examined by attorney Roy Black, uh, William Kennedy Smith's attorney. And right now he's showing her photographs of the Kennedy compound. It was dark that evening. Uh, it's only, I would say, a, f a couple feet from the area I'm speaking of. But I remember that night, like I said, that the door was in front of this area. Well, why don't we come in front of the jury and show them where you say the archway was back on uh, when you were there on March 30th. Could you please come up here and yes. show this to the ladies and gentlemen of the jury? Now, where do you say the archway was uh, that night? Uh, as I remember walking in through the archway, I remember uh, this building. I don't remember that there wasn't uh, a taller area. Yeah, I'll tell you what, why don't you mark an X on the photograph where you say the archway was on uh, March 30th? The archway, let me clarify myself. Uh, the archway obviously is there, but I don't recall not seeing this uh, area All right, here. Uh, right now, while they're looking at these uh, evidence photographs of the Kennedy compound, we'll go to Greta Van Susteren, our uh, legal expert standing by in Washington. Greta, a couple of questions. Number one, exactly what's going on now? What's Roy Black trying to do? Well, what Roy Black is doing is using her now as his witness. He destroyed her as a state witness, and now he's using her affirmatively. For instance, what he asked her is where the victim was, or the alleged victim, that when, he, when she first saw her. And the, and the alleged victim wasn't locked in her car, hadn't gone to her neighbors, hadn't gone to her relatives, hadn't run outside. And the implication there is, is that if a rape had occurred, a reasonable person would assume that the alleged victim would have run away. And now he's using her to show that to advance his case. Now, we've heard a lot of uh, talk about depositions in this case. Uh, her referring repeatedly to hers. Yesterday, a uh, deposition was released from the alleged victim at 600 and some pages the size of several phone books. As I understand it in criminal procedure, the use of depositions like this is uh, fairly unusual. Is that correct? That's correct. It's extraordinary that uh, depositions are used. It's done in the state of Florida, which is very unusual. What a deposition is, is just a pretrial uh, get-together between the parties, and the lawyers are allowed to ask questions under oath of potential witnesses on both sides in the case. And those, uh, d those statements that are made by the witnesses are taken down by a court reporter. And the significance is, is that if the person then comes to court and says something different from what he or she said in his deposition, that inconsistency by a clever lawyer will be pointed out to show that that person may not be telling the truth or has a poor recollection. Here, Mr. Black is very effectively using the inconsistencies in the prior statement and the prior deposition to show that this witness, Ms. Mercer, is someone who cannot be believed. Well, we'll uh, come back to more of our live coverage of the trial of William Kennedy Smith and the testimony of Ann Mercer after these commercial messages.